Hello, welcome to the Daily Purposeful Movement Challenge. Today we have jumps, jump ropes, wall angels, supermans, we've got some lunges, we have some back pulls, we're gonna do some squat holds, and then we're gonna do some planks. So we're gonna start with the jump rope when we have two 60 seconds of them, and then we'll go to wall angels. So if you are starting out, no rope. Elbows to your sides, remembering we're jumping tall, not small. So we don't wanna be jumping like this. We wanna open our shoulders back and you don't have to jump very high. So just imagine that you have a rope. This is gonna get you started. Now I'm hearing some of you guys are concerned about your knees, how you can't jump because you have bad knees. What's wrong with your knees? They just ache a little bit. This is why you need the motion. And the benefits of jumping rope are incredible. The next progression is that you can buy, called, um, I think they're called stationary or indoor jump ropes. I've had a link before, I'll try to find the link for you again. It's got a handle with a ball, so it simulates like a jump rope. And this is good for if you're only indoors and you're not in your crazy crowded garage or outdoors and you don't have the roof or the clearance for a jump rope. But eventually, you're the gold standard is what you want to do is to get to a jump rope because that's also having to work on your coordination. You've got to concentrate. So elbows at your sides, a crazy crowded garage. You're going to try this. So shoulders back. The benefits of jumping rope is really for bone strength. Again, you don't have to jump very high. You can slow down the rope. It's also really good for muscle, for building strength, cardiac health. Because I'm elevating my heart rate, my lung capacity, because I'm really breathing. Mental acuity. I gotta concentrate. I gotta focus. If you bobble, it's fine. Just get back up there. It's gonna take you back to our childhood. When I started jumping rope, I couldn't even do 20 seconds. So build up. And unless you have like an ACL tear, a meniscus injury, a stiff, achy knees is not a contraindication to jumping rope. So we have 260 seconds of that. I'm not going to do the whole thing for the video, but listen to your body. There you go. Next up is we have wall angels, my lovely garage. Ideally, you want to have a blank flat wall. I don't have that here. I have my patients do it, even at their desks, just to get that alignment to open up your chest. So, heels against your wall. We're gonna externally rotate those shoulders back. My head is against the wall, abs engaged. I'm lifting through my cramp, so I'm standing nice and tall. And I'm rooted equally on the right foot and left foot. Now, my palms are trying to be flat against that wall. If you can't get there, that's your baseline. Because we really, really wanna stretch out your pectorals, your chest muscles, and strengthening your back. Then you're gonna slowly draw your elbows to your sides and then slowly coming up. So breathing, don't be in a rush. I have my patients do a seven second count. So this is a bit faster. Again, if you can't get your hands flat against the wall, just start opening up your hands, separate your fingertips, and then use your rhombus to squeeze. This is a great reminder to do wall angels maybe throughout the day. If you don't have time to do 10, that's okay. Just sitting in your chair, even just go, okay, just wait. I'm gonna feel the structure in my chest. So elbows at your sides, breathing. So we have 10 of these wall angels. Again, using my questionable wall garage door doesn't really work, but gives you an idea. Nice and slow. So there you go, we have 10 of those. Moving on is that we've got 10 Supermans. We're gonna to go to the ground, and my workouts are intentionally designed so we have on the ground and up, because we have to really concentrate, and more importantly, focus on training our body to get on the ground, and then up off the ground. Just like we should be doing stairs every day. So, Superman's. We're gonna lay flat on the mat, flat on the floor. 
arms out, legs out. I'm looking forward or resting my chin on the mat. Now laying here, I'm gonna pull my belly button towards your spine. So engaging your core, then we're gonna bring arms and legs off the mat. If this is too much for you, do right arm, left leg. I'm not bending through my knee. I'm pointing my fingertips in opposite direction, and then you would switch sides. So we have 10 Superman, so you can just hold for a moment or two, squeeze your glutes, and then come down and rest. You can come up, you can draw your elbows to your sides. Coming up, so you're really gonna focus on strengthening the back side of your body. Squeeze your glutes, strengthening those intrinsic muscles, those muscles that connect vertebrae by vertebrae. We have lunges next. I'm not gonna do all 10, because the video will be really long. But once you're up, just a reminder, because we often let our belly go, pull your abdominals in. So yes, you're laying on the mat, pulling your abdominals in, but once you come up, bring your arms and legs, just check in, oh, did I let my belly go, pull them up. That keeps the cord nice and strong and engaged. So pull the belly in, and then back down. So draw the abdominals in, come up. Did you let your belly go? Come on, bring that belly button off the mat. So there you go. Now we're gonna go into lunges, and we have two sets of 10 per side, and then back pull. So I'm actually going to do a cycle, so I don't just have to do all 20 lunges. So option, grab a wall, a chair, grab some weights, is you can do a static lunge, which we're simply gonna go up and down. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Think about your alignment again. Lunges are really good to do because it helps strengthen the knees. So when your knees are a bit achy or tight, this helps get motion to, the, to those joints. So don't be afraid of the lunges, the squats, jump rope. So again, I'm gonna even it out. So this is called a static lunge. I've got weights, wall, whatever you need. If I was barefoot, I'd be able to see my big toe and my second toe. Another option is you can step forward into a lunge and then press off, there's a bit more strength. So we have 10 per side, we're gonna do it twice, but I'm gonna break it up. So you can do whatever you want, this is your workout. Another option, you can step back into your lunge with or without that knee tap, listen to your body, I'm gonna go on to back pull. So you can use free weights if you want. Today, I'm gonna to do um, my bungees. So I have a little bit of resistance at all times. Shoulders back. I'm gonna, just looking at the time. Okay, I'm gonna have my thumbs up to start. Squeeze my shoulder blades and then relax a bit. Not all the way. So squeeze your shoulder blades. So I'm looking forward. I feel it in my back. Imagine that there's a pencil between your shoulder blades. Another option is you turn so your palms are facing down and squeeze. Again, I'm not locking my knees. I'm not letting all the resistance go. So keeping some tension on that bungee cord. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay, I'm gonna come back because I know I've got a couple rounds of these. Then I'm gonna go into squat holds and I'm gonna come back to lunges. So, squat holds. I have 220 seconds. So good squat as you're looking up and driving your bum down. Feet hip level apart. So, I am not looking forward because as soon as I look forward, I drop my bum back. I wanna drop it down. You don't have to go real low. This can be a squat. See how straight my back is? Core engaged. But we've got 20 seconds to hold. My weight is equally on both feet. As soon as I start to look forward, I automatically, my bum drops back and I wanna avoid that. So look up. That's the key, lead with your chin. So we probably have five to go. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna come back and finish out my lunge cycle. 
If you chose to do all your lunges, move on. So again, I'm gonna step forward. So there's a bit more power. You can also take this into a walking lunge where I simply just walk forward. It's trying to keep good form. I saw people at the gym yesterday doing this. I really want you to focus on that alignment. Making sure you see if you're barefoot, the first toe, the big toe, and the second toe. That means you're engaging all of your quad muscles, especially that vastus medialis, that smallest quad muscle that often gets forgotten because all the other bigger muscles take over. And so people who have like a knee tracking issue, that is a contributing factor. So I'm gonna just take a couple. I'm gonna step back into a lunge. Again, don't be afraid to lunge. But even if you start out and you're a little stiff, Often, by the time you get to the end of a series, your knees start to feel a little bit, feel better because you've gotten motion through those joints. You just gotta get over that initial stiffness. So I'm gonna do a couple more because I'm not counting. We'll go into my back pulls, finish squat holds. All right, so back pulls. Standing nice and tall, shoulders back. We're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together and resist. I'm gonna row. Squeeze, core engaged. So we're gonna do, we have 10 of these. So again, your choice, thumbs up, palm, palms down. Working your back muscles, just like we did in Superman, Wall Angels, core engaged. I'm gonna do two more. And then I'll go to squat holds and I'll come back because I have three sets of these today. Okay, so looking up, dropping down, your choice, I'm not gonna look at the camera here, is to how low you go, but you wanna hinge through your knees and your hips, shoulders back, you can grab some weight if you want. Looking up, weight equal into both feet. If you feel like you're sitting back, try to just drop that pelvis in. So. When we pee, this is to the girls, to the women out there, right in public restrooms, and we don't wanna sit and we squat, as soon as you start to look forward, that's when you start to pee on yourself. So look up. Try it. Three to go, two and one, we're gonna come up. Okay, we're gonna finish off the back pulls. So I have another set of 10. Core engaged, standing tall, not small. Oh, I'm finally getting warm. It's a bit cold here. My garage isn't heated. So Sundays in the winter, I have to wear like hats, gloves. I have a portable heater. I don't sweat a lot. Okay, we do one more and then we're gonna move on. So, I have to do planks. All right, final planks. We have two 45 second planks. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna start with a bent elbow plank, taking a look at my watch. So onto forearms, press your feet back, shoulders back, looking forward. So I'm not looking at my hands because as soon as I do that, is I tend to, to flex that neck too much. So shoulders back, come on, pull the shoulders away from your ears. Draw the abdominals in. Press your feet back to engage those quads. Another option here is you can do high plank. We're gonna be on your, on your hands. That's gonna work more shoulders and chest. This actually works more core. Come on, draw those abdominals in, don't let your belly hang. We have 10 seconds to go. So we have one more of those. You can do the tall plank option. I'm gonna take it into 45 seconds of plank up downs. You can do whatever you want. Plank up downs is a little bit more for body strength. So we're gonna start high plank. We're gonna come down to right elbow forearm followed by left. Now use your knees if you need to. Place your right hand under your shoulder followed by your left and press up. 
Now left hand comes down, followed by your right, so you're in a bent elbow plank position. Place your left hand under your shoulder, and then press yourself up to bring the right hand to your shoulder. If that's too much, come to your knees. So right elbow, forearm down, followed by left. Right hand under your shoulder, followed by your left, and press up. Left hand comes down, followed by right. Left hand under your shoulder, press up to tall plank. So we have 10, less than 10 seconds to go. So this builds a lot of upper body strength pretty fast. So don't be afraid to do hard work. And that is today's Everyday Purposeful Movement Challenge. Thank you for participating. We're aging well together. Have a great day.